This is going to be a series on how to work with highcharts.js library. First we'll start with a very simple demo and then we'll work with more complex examples and explore a library in a little bit more depth and we will look how to integrate highcharts into React components. Just to get the very basic idea, go to highcharts.com, go to general documentation, click installation here, and you will see many ways how to, well, not many, there are like, uh, there are few, but it doesn't matter. First, you see npm and bower, and this method we will use when we will work with React application. You can use it now as well, it doesn't really matter, so it's your taste. But what I'm going to use here in our first basic demo is just simply HTML file and a simple include from here from their own server code that highcharts.com highcharts.js. Alterna alternatively, you can of course download this file and include it yourself from your own domain. So this is how we will start, we'll create index.html. In here we will include in the head the library itself and before the closing body tag we will include our own index.js file that we will create uh, right now. We will also need a container where we will render our chart. So that will be div, let's say container. Save that and create index.js. So first we want to initialize our high charts library to do that, we will need an event listener. Document add event listener, and that event listener is DOM content loaded. Next, we will need a callback function passed here. And in here, we can call high charts, and that will be, that is a global variable that is accessible to us because we included this high charts JS library. Next, we will need to call a method on that library called chart. First part parameter is an ID of the container where we will render the chart itself. So that is container because of this. And next is an options object. So after we've done that, we can already see the effect of this. It has chart title that is here by default and we have the chart area. And we also have this credits from highcharts.com which actually is optional, you can turn it off and I will show you later how to do that if you need it. Right now there is nothing rendering because we have no data, we have no options specified and let's fix that with very little simple demo data. First we can start with x-axis and our x-axis will have properties categories. Let's say Apple I think this is from the example from the docs itself. You don't need to always have categories, but just in this simple example, we'll start with them. And next we'll show series that will be an array and we have this array of objects in this. That array of objects will have a name, let's say John, and that's, that's from the docs, from the documentation. So this example is from the documentation, so data, and you can have here a set of numbers. Each number will correspond to each category. So one apple, two bananas, and three oranges. And you can have a second parameter, uh, a second object here, let's say Jane, and two, four, eight. We can already see the result of this. So this is John one apple, Jane two apples, bananas Jane four, John two, and Jane eight, John three, four oranges. The other property that you might look at is now we have a default chart that is considered of type line. If you want any other type, we can specify it directly. That will be column. There is also bar. There is also scatter. You have area. And the variation of area is area spline. That looks kind of similar, but has more smooth edges. So it goes so it doesn't have this angular kind of edges, so it goes just like this. 
in high charts you can change a lot of things you can change this title you can change the color of the background the color of the background here you can make a gradient you can uh, format the subtitles the tooltips the labels you can format pretty much anything we can take off this credit if it's something you would like there is an option for that for example to change this chart title we can have this y-axis property here and we can have this title property in that text and it would have fruits eaten so this fruits eaten is shown here on the y-axis title we can also change the title of the chart title that will be here our first chart so this changed here so this is it for the first video if you have anything you want to look up any property you can go to the website and look for the api reference in here it will be in high charts right where you looked for documentation right next to it you will have the here in documentation you have general documentation you have api reference in here you can look up any property you want like colors or x-axis y-axis and it will show you what it has available for you and in most cases it will even have the demos for you so you can have if you want to look what angle does you can go for the, the and look for the demo it will be at jsfiddle.net